right? So getting sent. I lower, mean, balance is still in. Yeah, and, and uh, he's, he's guaranteed fifth, right? Balance is guaranteed fifth. He's playing against uh, Grayson right now. Seventh. So very interesting that Balance is playing Grayson right now because he just beat Cosma two one, mm -hmm. and now he's going up against course, another Rob. Very different Robs. Very so. different Robs, but you know, two Robs in a row nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And now we're seeing neither of yeah. those. Yeah. I like this. Neither of these two's mains are coming out because Lima's working on the Peach this week and Lunchable says, I have an answer. Yes. Not only for this, but I think the I think Young Link being a good option against the Bayonetta if he doesn't want to go Croy, um, because this character is able to sit back and not interact as much, gives him a lot more options to deal with Bayonetta, I think, than Guns of Blazing with a very gimmable character, you know? Mm -hmm. So we'll see. I mean, the first thing we got to look up for is, you know, what is he looking... What is he trying to use to set up with Lima, right? Like, is he looking for whiff punishes and going for stuff like the uh, hero spin out of shield? You know, and also, how do you make it back off the ledge against Peach as a young one? The one thing that's not going to change here is Peach has great options to ledge trap. Young Link has fair off the ledge, but it's pretty slow. Mm -hmm. Other than that, doesn't have super quick... Oh, that's cool. That's death, yeah. I was lied to. Well, I guess my... without rage we are incorrect. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to say you were lied to. We're just wrong. <laughs> well, I was lied to, to by fair. myself. Oh, okay. My brain lied to me. That's fair. That's fair. I, and I lied to y'all. Apologies, Twitch chat. But eventually, up air is going to catch it off of a, uh, you know, reading that defensive option stuck on the platform. Oh. And you know what? That's a reasonable percent for Lunchables to get a kill at as a young one. Oh, God. But he's sitting at 83 now. It's already racked up so much. Has to go for the oh, high recovery. Done. I lied. No big punish. No big punish. Oh, my God. That okay. was an idea by That Dino would have killed for sure. Yeah. Would have killed for sure. I love that idea. But not blessed with uh, with Joker multi-hits. <laughs> that character is uh, something else. Oh. I'll be going to take it out. Young like a very light character. Might see a counter pick war between these two. Honestly, I believe it. If if Lima is so inclined to play Bayonetta tonight, Hero Spin out of shield, not going to connect. Lima saw the opportunity to disengage. And now it's continuing to rack up lots of damage. Game, regardless of character, is so nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. A little slow. So if y'all don't know, uh, we saw a lot of top players having tr uh, trouble dealing with that move recently. Mm -hmm. uh, when Young Link made its first appearance at a S tier top eight. Is that right? I, I think so. That was Toast, right? That was Toast. Um, uh, Spark made a great video. Uh-oh. <laughs> Peach like, also has bombs. I'm not the only one who can press down B and pull a bomb. Mm -hmm. uh, but Spark made a great video on how to properly punish that move. It's minus 17, which is deceptive on how punishable it is. Because a lot of people think they can drop shield and go for like a grab or something like that. Totally not. Uh, you do not have time. You have to pick a fast out of shield option or a decent out of shield option at the very least. But everybody has something that is at least frame yeah. 60. Or you can spot dodge before the last hits and spot dodge cancel and get a strong punish like a forward smash. Oh, Great he had bomb the bomb. Recovery. Great bomb recovery, but he's sitting at 163. Realize. Back air kills, half the moves kill, half mm -hmm. the moves kill. Great DI though, he's still in it. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, um. <laughs> he got me twice. Lima was not fooled. I but was apparently, cool. I never learned. No. I don't either. Learning? I'm not in school. That's, I'm not one of those people. I love learning, but I'm really bad at it. Yeah. I can relate. See, you say, you, a hater, may say that I'm stupid. I just say I'm bad at learning. Mm -hmm. So now we're seeing the Krom. Yeah, not surprised to see this. I feel like... These characters do really well against the Peach, and I feel like Lunchable's blind pick maybe going expecting for uh, the Bayo. Perhaps, yeah. Look at that. Just forward smash off rip. Just just go for it, man. I don't... <laughs> it outranges whatever Peach has, right? right. Why not? Ooh, dragging into the up here. Yeah, again, Lima's combo game is just second to none, man. And not just his combo game, but his general advantage, too. Because it's not just these guaranteed combos. It's all the pressure he's able to generate. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, he's definitely one of those people where, you know, if you play one of the characters that he does and you're trying to figure out, you know, how do I provide offense? How do I force my opponent to make mistakes? This is the guy to watch. Lunchable's <gasps> looking for a tech roll into the forward smash. Not going to get it. And they are slugging back and forth hits. Back and forth oh, he got punishes. the treadmill. <laughs> He got That's the moving cool. walkway, and now he's not playing Rory, but that'll still get the KO here on Town of City. Absolutely. Now these presents. How oh, that, that hit. I'm not sure. I expected like a falling up air, but double jump fair, maybe trying to catch Lima jumping out or floating away. Ooh, back air. Such great follow ups. A good wait there by Lima, but he's still going to take some percent. He's that dead. is Lunchables at his finest. Going deep off stage to get the kill, even when you don't think he can. Lima's, of course, able to fire back, but he's got a full stock to right. make up. This will be the start. He or not. the cross up. The down tilt would have been a big punish, and he definitely had the frames for it, but ditched the wrong way. Lunchable's going for the ledge trap. This could be danger. He's dead. Oh! oh! <laughs> the platform! The platform that, coming I want to say he wasn't guaranteed to be dead, but he would have been put in a really terrible spot against Lima there from that counter. I would expect a guy like Lima to be able to get the kill off of that, yeah, right? Yeah, but that, that homie taxi platform. Uh-huh. This is, this is our game's Randall. Mm-hmm. Because you, because you can get the timing on it. A lot of people already have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and sometimes you go, oh, okay, you're here now. Okay, forward throw. Doesn't get any real setup there, but... And then a very high percent Nair sets Ooh. the opposite way. This is a ledge trap opportunity. That was actually really fortunate for Lunchables because it did set up for the ledge trap. Oh, jab into bat forward air. Okay. Didn't have time to set up the back air, I don't think. I thought he was just going to go down with that. Oh. Forward tilt at the ledge. Uh huh. Just out of range of Lima's fair. Came through with his own anti air punish. Forward tilt cleaned it up. Mm -hmm. that, that was a much stronger game, of course, on the best stage available to Krom. Uh, might not have been banned because of Young Link being on the screen prior. Mm -hmm. Plus, Lima, I know he's not a huge bans guy. Mm. You know, he's he's come on stream and he's talked about that before. He's been like, eh. you know, I just don't want the stuff that I don't want to play on. But yeah. it's just not his philosophy. Sticking with the Peach, though, against Krom on Smashville. Still a fine stage for, for both characters, but mm -hmm. definitely one of the best for Peach here. Yeah. Being able to accentuate the ledge trapping. But Krom also loves that. Yeah. Great recovery. Here you go. Great tech roll in. I mean, Lunchables, whenever he wants to be somewhere, he he goes there. Down throw back air, though. That's going to put him in an awkward spot. Ooh, wow. Low punish on the air dodge. He was not waiting. He's out. Oh, oh stonks. stonks. And he's yeah. dead for it. Oh, oh, who's dead? It's Lunchables still. Shoutouts to Chase Clown Depot Young for <laughs> some solid stonks. <laughs> I'm amazed that Lunchables is still an advantage. I feel like that's the like most unsatisfying moments in the yeah. Smash. It's like those videos where it looks like it's gonna be one of those oddly satisfying things, and yeah, it just like breaks at the end. It's oh oddly my gosh. unsatisfying. Or still dead. dead. Yeah. And that is a struggle in the matchup. Is dealing with the Toad. Mm -hmm. Toad is the fun police. You're not gonna recover! <laughs> you don't have enough stars! So chunks, huh? Oh, oh my gosh, my with God. the tennis racket as well. The recovery by Lunchables and the backer off the ledge, very nice. He was able to escape it, but now 62%. And at, he was at the ledge, it was a scary spot, but he's able to box his way out of there. What a great pressure sequence from Lunchables. He knows that exact moment that he's about to lose his advantage. And he disengages with the spot dodge, gets right back with the jab afterwards. This is winner's final, so I want to point out this is the first three out of five set of the night. This is not necessarily, I mean, it's absolutely not the last game. That's true. See, Lunchable still is. punished with that get up attack. This last is Lima's game. Yeah. We see him go up 2 1. Yeah, we've seen Lima on these kind of spots before, but I want to know if Lunchables has another stage pick up his sleeve. Mm -hmm or whether he wants to try to pick another character. And honestly, I think it's the former rather Probably, than the latter. Yeah. Probably PS2, going back to PS2 is what I would wager. Would you hate to see Final Destination? Against Peach, yes. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't know if I would say I'd hate it. I just don't know if that's the choice. I feel like I, and as Lunchables, I feel like he's more likely to just go back to PS2, but 
Battlefield looks Battlefield. like is the option. I think that's a fine choice. If you're going with uh, going with Crom and Serboy here. That would have been something. Yeah, <laughs> Legend was so, like, ah, sure. Oh, going with Roy. So taking it to Battlefield and then going to Roy. Definitely an interesting it's, it's pick. It's because of the counter. He didn't want to deal with the counter anymore in recovery. That's true. He felt a little cheesed on that. Yeah. This is still a fine stage for Roy. Uh, what you do when you take a Peach to Battlefield, though, is that you are betting on yourself uh, mm -hmm. in the early game. It's you're saying, I'm going to be able to take the lead, and uh, most importantly, I'm going to be able to take that first stock, right? Because if Peach goes up a stock, she's going to be able to run the town on Battlefield. It's very true. It's very true. Huntable's right now keeping it even. Yeah, using these big swords best as he can. As much of a Brass Knuckles brawler as he is, still able to use that range and really cover these platforms. Mm -hmm. Huntable's oh. going deep off stage right now, and he's given up some really good ledge traps for it. Stitch. I mean, looks like there. Oh, he's dead. Great ledge guard. Fantastic. And he's still holding on to the Stitch. That was, not, oh, a was stitch. not a Stitch. Well, I saw the closed eyes, and I was like, you know what? Might as well. Ooh, forward tilt, that almost kill. Boy, Lunchables really just expends every little bit of offstage that he can. Really expecting some... Oh, okay. auto parry. Yeah, Let's it wasn't auto, auto parry. parry. He's still sick. Yeah, that'll do. Lunchables has caught so many people with that, right? Just the first hit in the air, and then people think, all right, he's done. No. He's Guess got that again. stagger. That anime fighting game experience. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Does he? Oh, Love the cuteness! It. Love it. <laughs> He's got the item play. He played Toon Link for, what, six years in PM? Yeah. Something like that. He has item play for days. Good recovery, but Lima catches him fading in. This should do it. Oh, yeah. Doesn't matter what recovery you have. That counter's coming through and intercepting with no double jump there. Mm -hmm. So deep. He almost got killed by that turnip. Oh, oh that's big, big combos. Damage. He's going all the way across the stage, but Lunchables knows to DI out. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal DI. Still going, though. Lima's not giving up. That one down tilt overall leading to 84% before Lunchables gets control of the stage back. Okay. Man, Lima's ability to just disengage from the corner is insane. Did he get body blocked? I feel like he got body blocked. Eh, I, I feel like he didn't have the range, but yeah. either way. Lima knows just to sit down there. Don't give him his jump back or anything. And, man, you're good to go. Lima definitely good to go into Grand Finals. You know, Lunchable's chilling in Losers Finals. He's still got that chance. Mm -hmm. He's in best of five territory all night. Yeah, I, I feel like they're going to the Roy. Uh, it wasn't necessarily bad, but I feel like if you think about it, if he, if Roy loses his double jump, he's dead in the same situations that Krom is. And if Krom still has a double jump, he has the air dodge mix up. He usually can. You know, mm -hmm. every time he's still at his double jump, I don't think he got countered. Yeah. Right. So maybe that wasn't necessary, but worth a shot. Worth a shot to see. I think I think I would have liked to see the Roy not on Battlefield. Mm -hmm. I think that specifically if you're going Battlefield, maybe you should bet too. on yourself a little more and say Krom is going to get me a ton on this stage, mm -hmm. right? And I would save Roy for okay, if, like stick with the Krom game four, and if you're able to win that because you took him to Battlefield and you got out to that early lead, game five Lima maybe wants to Roy. go somewhere more flat like F D, mm -hmm. then you can go to the Roy. Yeah, that's fair. It's it's also possible maybe Roy is is, is fine there. You just gotta. I'm sure he's good. Yeah. I just feel like Krom is better on triplets. Yeah. I agree. The I'm coverage is much agree. more consistent. But we'll see if Lunch was able to make adjustments if he's able to get that rematch. He's waiting in losers finals. Mm -hmm. Got to wait on the winner of this game. Winner of the last two out of three of the night. Mm -hmm. You heard the two characters, so you know what's coming. It's. Austin and it's Grayson. And this is crazy to see their final, their, their clash being a two out of three in loser semifinals. Number two and three in Texas. If you if you read from right to left, then that is in. You mean DFW? Uh, yes, I did mean DFW. That's yeah. my bad. Yeah, and it, not in Texas. Uh, I, I honestly don't know.